Okay, this is super important for the exam to know how CloudWatch is linked to EC2. Super, super important. So let's go ahead and see this. AWS provides some metric for your EC2 instances and AWS will push these metrics for you. You have some basic monitoring, such as the metrics will be collected at five minutes interval. But you can enable detailed monitoring, in which case these metrics will be collected at a one minute interval. And these metrics include CPU, network, disk, and status check metric. Remember these four, they're very, very important. Then you're able to use custom metrics. And custom metrics, by definition, they're yours to push. They're custom. And so the basic resolution of your custom metric is one minute, but you can go into a high resolution custom metric, which is all the way to one second. And the custom metrics for EC2 you may want to push, well, that includes RAM or application level metrics, for example. If you do do that, then too, you have to make sure that your EC2 instance does have an IAM role that allows it to push metrics to CloudWatch. So all the metrics included for EC2, you need to know them. So the first metric you need to know is CPU. We will get the CPU utilization as a metric. And also in case we have T2 or T3 instances that do burst, then we can get the credit usage for the burst and the credit balance. For the network, we're able to figure out how much network is going in our instance and out of our instance. For the status check, it's basically checking whether or not our instance is healthy. We get an instance status. This is Amazon checking if the EC2 VM is working or a system status, which is Amazon checking if the underlying hardware is working. And so these are very important ones. These are Amazon health checks, so you don't have any controls over that, but it basically gives you an idea and you need to be able to differentiate between your instance status and your system status. Finally, only for instance stores, instance store backed um, EC2 instances, we get disk information. We'll get the read and write operations or bytes for our instance store. And finally, RAM is not included in the AWS EC2 metrics. This is a common question at the exam. They ask you, can you get the RAM from CloudWatch? No, you cannot. AWS does not push the RAM usage in CloudWatch. It is for yours to push. Okay, so let's have a look at the type of monitoring we get from EC2. So let's take my first instance and we go to monitoring. And as we can see here from CloudWatch, we get the monitoring of our instance. And so the number one thing we get is CPU utilization. As you can see, the period is five minutes. Then we get the disk reads, operations and writes, but these are going to be empty because our instance is not an instance store, it's backed by EBS. So the network in though we get and network out, so we're able to see how many bytes go in and out of our machine in terms as well as the number of packets that go in and the number of packets that go out. Here's the status, st uh, status check failed for instance and system. And so basically it will tell us whether or not the underlying EC2 VM or the underlying hardware is failing. And we definitely don't want this to be one. We want this to be zero all the time. And then we get some information around the credit usage and the credit balance. And so what this means is that as our instance has been doing a lot of stuff at some point, maybe installing uh, Apache server, we've been using some CPU credit usage. And then over time though, our credit balance goes up. So we're able to burst as time goes along. Here, we're able to also enable detailed monitoring and detailed monitoring, as it says, is to get the instance metrics at one minute frequency. And so this is something we have to enable, click on yes, and I will not do it because then you have to pay for it. You get additional charges for this kind of stuff, but this is how you would enable detailed monitoring. And so that's it. We get the exact same kind of metrics from my second instance, but because this one has been launched a little bit after my first instance, the graphs are not complete, but that's it for what comes with AWS. In the next lecture, we'll be able to talk about custom metrics from EC2.